Okay, we're going to have a look at um, dissecting this paper here. Okay, um, so let's have a look. Maybe we talk about a bit of uh, technique, how to deal with this, not panic, and so on. Particularly looking out for words which are similar between um, French and English. No. Now here, pour favoriser la communication interpersonnelle. Now here, this means to to favorite. Yeah, to put forward, to put first, rather. Um, interpersonal communication. So this pour here in front of a verb means in order to. So in order to prioritize or, or uh, favoritize um, interpersonal communication. Okay, l'école de Marseur. Now, sœur is sister. Goal is school. So the the school of my sister. Okay, a decide. Has decided. Decided. Organiser, to organize. Un journée, a day. Jour and journée, both mean day. Sans, technology. Technology. Now, without technology. So we already have words which are similar. Favoriser, communication, interpersonnel. Uh, Decider, organiser, technology. But obviously, we still need to know these little words to, to make sense of it. If you know that song means without, then potentially there are problems. Okay. C'est très difficile pour elle. It is very difficult for her. Okay, so let's just see. So that's what we've uh, looked at first of all. So what does Jean-Luc think about his sister's technology-free day? Um, right, so the, it gives an opinion... So this is about the technology day here, and it says technology free, so sans technology, without technology. It's very difficult for her, so very difficult will be the answer down there. Right, let's read on. Normalement, normally, elle utilise, she uses, utilise means to utilize, to use une tablette, okay, like a, an iPad, pour son cours d'histoire, for her course of history, her history course. Mais aujourd'hui, but today, elle ne peut pas, she cannot. So again, words that are similar, normalement, utiliser, utilize, use. Tablette, as in an iPad. Cour, meaning course. Histoire, history. All right, so normally she uses a, a tablet for her history, but she can't do that today. Okay. So that's not actually mentioned uh, as one of the questions down there at all. Now, peu means can, elle doit means she must. Donc, therefore, aller à la bibliothèque, go to the library. Therefore, she has to go to the library. Okay, so, pour lire des livres in order to read uh, books et trouver, trouver les informations and find information. Okay, don't el uh, besoin, of which she needs. Okay, now let's go back to, let's have a look down here. Give one reason why she goes to the library. So, okay, you could directly take it from here. She, okay, she has to go to the library in order to read books. Okay, to read books could be one reason. Uh, find information that she needs and find information that she needs. So you could conjure up a reason there. Another reason, okay, going back to the previous thing is, um, is the fact that she cannot use her iPad or tablet for that particular uh, lesson today. Therefore, she needs to go to the library. Okay, now, peut means can, doit means must, elle veut means she wants to. So, elle veut surtout garder. She wants to, above all, or especially, Garder le contact, keep contact avec ses copains, with her friends or mates. Alors, so, ils ont décidé, they have decided, they decided to se retrouver, to meet up with her, au café, at the café, pour se rencontrer leur journée, in order to tell uh, about their day. So what does she most want to do? Okay, keep contact with her friends, um, okay, is basically what she wants to do. Stay in contact with her friends, and she's going to sort of meet up. They've decided to meet up later in the day to talk about their day, 
Okay, so that goes in there. All right, ladies and gents, that is the first one there. Okay, and uh, yeah, we got it in more detail there. I don't know why I did that really, you know. I was going to make notes in here, but I decided just to do it verbally, if you know what I mean. Right, so let's have a look at this one here. Um, the blog continues. Moi, me, je ne comprends pas. Je comprends means I understand, comprendre, to comprehend, to understand. Therefore, je ne comprends pas means I don't understand. Pourquoi, why, elle veut, she wants to, faire, do, cela, that. So I don't understand why she wants to do that. Il est impossible. It is impossible. De vivre, to live, sans technologie, to live without technology. Pour préparer, in order to prepare, pour, in front of a verb, means in order to. Les repas, meals, pour travailler, in order to work, pour communiquer, in order to communicate. Cependant, however, ma soeur, my sister, est très content, is very content or happy. Et elle dit que, and she says that, maintenant, now, elle va, she's going, moins utiliser, to use less, la technology, technology. So let's have a look at what we got down here. Name one use of technology that Jean-Luc mentions. All right, so we got it down here, basically, yeah? Impossible to live without technology in order to prepare meals. So technology is needed for uh, preparing meals, cooking meals, to work, and then to communicate. So you pick one of these three along there. How does his sister feel about the day? Okay, well, it says here, my, ma soeur était content, my sister is very content, and she says that now she's going to use less technology. Right, let's have a look. Does that really answer the question? How does the sister feel about the day? Um, this is one of those ones which I would argue, I feel that the examiner, by asking it that way, has been a little bit vague, okay, because I don't feel that that talks specifically about the day. Okay, could be uh, how does she feel about the future, i.e. she's going to use less technology. I would, uh, I would have to say I'd accept that as an answer. She feels very happy about everything uh, and quite happy about using less technology. And I'd have to accept that as the answer, even though I don't like the way that's actually asked. That's a personal thing. That's just me. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at this one here. Nice long text here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll take it from here. Actually, have a look at this one here. Okay, now this is actually about what you're going to find is that uh, more and more um, the new exam is going to include what we call authentic material, material about what's actually going on in the news today and all that kind of thing. Now, Burkina Faso, if I'm right, I hope I got this right. I'm talking, okay. Well, we'll talk through it anyway and see what we come up with. But I, I've got an idea what it's about. Ibrahim, explique, explique means to explain que that dans un pays, in a country, comme le Burkina Faso, such as Burkina Faso, où, where, sorry, la majorité de la population, majority of the population, okay, so that is what is... Uh, uh, common words there, explique, explain, majority, majority, population, population. A moins de 15 ans has less than 15 years. So, um, majority are under 15 years old, okay, in this country, Burkina Faso. L'éducation, education est essentielle, is essential. Pour le développement, for the development du pays of the country. Au oh, Burkina Faso, okay, in Burkina Faso, Il existe, it, ex it exists, plus de 60 langues. There are more than 60 languages. May, but, comme, uh, like or as in, dans la plupart, in the majority des pays, okay, la plupart des pays, is another way of saying majority. You've got it up there and down here. So, plupart, the major part, look at that there, major part. The, of the countries, de l'Afrique de l'Ouest, of Western Africa, 
la langue d'enseignement, the language of instruction, of teaching, et le français is French. Aïcha dit que, says that, les élèves, the pupils, surtout, especially, particularly, en campagne, in the countryside, doivent faire, have to do, beaucoup de kilomètres, a lot of kilometers, à pied, en foot, pour venir à l'école. Remember, pour means in order to, in front of a verb, in order to come to school. La journée scolaire, the school day, commence, commence, sorry, à 7 heures, begins at 7 o'clock, et finit à 17 heures, and finishes at 1700 hours, which is 5 o'clock. Il y a une pause, there is a break, à midi, at uh, midday, qui dure, wait for it, which last, dure means to last, to durate, 3 heures, 3 hours, à cause de la chaleur, due to the heat, à 7 heures là, at that time, qui rend le travail difficile, which makes, rendre means to make, uh, work difficult. Adama continue, Adama continues, seulement un garçon, only one boy, sur deux, one boy out of two, so un garçon sur deux, means one out of two boys, va à l'école, goes to school, primaire, goes to primary school. Et moins d'une fille sur deux, and less than one girl out of two. 12%, 12% des élèves of the pupils poursuivent, pursue, pursue rather, pursue le scolarité des de studies dans le secondaire, secondary stage. Les enfants exclus, uh, excluded kids de l'éducation from education à la campagne in the countryside travail work or shop on the fields avec le famille with their family en ville in town ces petits exclus okay these excluded uh, little ones that's what it literally means doivent trouver un, un emploi have to find a job Miriam okay Miriam ajoute à l'école adds that at school so ajouter means to add les élèves pupils étudient la lecture uh, study um, the lecture or reading en français in French le calcul uh, maths uh, les sciences science on apprend uh, one learns aux enfants à planter Ok, uh, um, des arbres. Ok, um, so. Sorry, that should. Uh, one teaches ch uh, children to uh, plant trees and to raise chickens. Eleve de poulet means to raise chickens. Ok.